Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to pop on here and just show you some of my thrifted planters and plant accessories. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. This is going to be my version of um, Vlogmas. I am doing Vlogmas every day over on my main channel. Excuse the noise in the background. Those are just my kids. Um, I want to do my version of that here. I don't know if I'll be able to do it every day because I want it to all be plant related. So we'll see um, how far I get. So anyway, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to take you to where the items are because as I said before, once I place my plants, I don't like to move them around. So let's just go ahead and I will take you down the list of my specific plant items. Okay, these crazy children. Um, let's see. So let me sit down here. This was where most of them are. So this blue one right here, which I'm actually currently using as a cash pot because it doesn't have drainage. I got this from Salvation Army for one dollar. So you can see it's pretty nice looking. I need to get some um what do you call that stuff? That gooby gone to get this off. This is the you know the sticky stuff from price tags. So we have this one right here. It's a nice round like dome shape. So I really like that. And it is in teal. Whoops. It's in teal, which is um one of the colors that I like to have around in my decor. Um, moving on, we have this one. This is actually terracotta. And uh, the previous owner painted it and sealed it. I wish they hadn't because I love the shape of this. It's almost like a teardrop kind of shape, which I haven't seen. I'm using it as a cash pot as well. There's a water propagation in there. It does not have a hole in it. And I need to get a new bit for my drill to put holes. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, I thought about trying to strip this color off, but I haven't really looked that much into it yet. So for right now, I'll just leave it like that. But yeah, I just really like the shape of it. And so I picked that up. There's actually two of those. The other one is in the windowsill in my kitchen. Um, let's see. This guy right here has my Marimo Moss balls in there. Um, it started off as one big one and I saw a video that said you could like propagate them by pulling off sections and rolling them into balls. So that's what I did. So right now there are four in here. Anyhow, this container here, including the stopper, this is glass. I purchased this from Salvation Army for 59 cents and yeah, so I decided to put them in here. I've had them in a few different things, but when I saw this, I knew it would be perfect. And so this is where they sit. Um... If you're interested, not a tutorial, but I guess I could tell you a little more about these little rocks at the bottom actually just came from the dollar store. And then I just change this water ever so often. I usually forget about it. So if it starts to look a little murky, then I'll change it. And it's been doing very well right next to it here with my Monstera Ansonia in there. I'm actually using this as a cash pot as well. It's a water propagation inside of there. This came from Salvation Army. Also, this is brand new. Um, when I purchased it, it does not have drainage once again, and I paid $1 for this. And then you can see the lattice work on it. It's like a stone, like a natural stone kind of color. So I really like that. While I'm over here, these three here, they were not thrifted. Let's, let's say I'll show you the thrifted and clearance items. These were each, um, my husband found them for me. I want to say that they were a quarter a piece. Um, they're actually glass votive holders. Bring up one up close. This one has my air plant in it with some little wooden beads in the bottom. It's actually a votive candle holder wrapped in burlap. And so um, at the time when he saw them, he just said he felt like it looked like something I would like, which I did. And I grabbed a few of them not knowing what I would do with them. And then I ended up using them for propagation. And so... On the same token, these here, these have, the other one is in the windowsill. They came with these glass, like milk jar kind of looking things. I'm guessing they were like bud vases. And then it has, I like the wood framing. Those came from Dollar General, which is where those came from. And they were on clearance for 
and I got two of them and they are perfect for water propagation and I love the look of the wood um took a quick look over here so we're gonna come over this way this is and it needs a little cleaning it was a plant down here that I did take away this yellow table here which is one of my favorite pieces and it holds my micans which is one of my favorite plants as well this came from goodwill and um it's just a nice um solid wood vintage table and i get a lot of questions about it and yeah that's where it's from i also get asked if i painted it i did not um the people who donated it had, had painted it and um like i said i need to wipe it off but it's usually a lot brighter than this i thought about repainting it but the yellow is just so nice and happy that I just wanted to leave it. I am thinking about replacing this knob here, though. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I leave this here or try to find, like, some cool knob to put on it? I saw at Home Goods they had some knobs that were made from, I think it was um, a gate natural stone, and they were really pretty. So moving on, I guess we start down here. This plate at the bottom, <coughs> excuse me. This plate here at the bottom, actually, um, I purchased those from Savers as a set of plates like to use in the kitchen. They were new, nice, they're huge. They don't fit in the microwave, which annoys my husband. So we stopped using them. We got new plates and I've just had them in the bottom of the cabinet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. Um, they were just in the bottom of the cabinet. And so when I have this larger pot, um, as you can see here, which has something different in it, I didn't have a saucer for it. And then I remembered these plates and I thought it would be perfect. And so I used them under my larger plants um, to catch the water. So these are thrifted as well. Um, it's not deep like a dish. So, you know, it's only going to hold so much water, but I remove the excess water immediately when I water my plants. So that works out perfectly for me. And then next over here, you can see my beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. Um, this stool here, I actually purchased from Salvation Army. It was on 50 off day, <clears throat> excuse me. And so, or no, it was the day before 50 off day. I went to scout it out. I saw this, it was only one and it was a good price. So I just bought it then. And I got this stool for $5. So I really like it. Um, I like that it's wood. And if you move in closer, it's, um, you can see the, um, what is that called? It's like a thick jute cord that is woven across the top as the seat. And so I just plant, put my plant on top of it and it gives it some nice height. Um, let's see what else while I'm right here. Um, as far as an accessory goes, this one right here, I'm going to lift it up because it's a little dark in this corner. This is a hand carved wood sculpture and I purchased this for $2.50 from Goodwill. Originally, I had the idea that um, I wanted to do like some gold leaf over top of it and like paint it and distress it, but I decided that I liked the look of the wood. It was very dusty and kind of dirty when I got it. So I just cleaned it up with some Murphy's oil soap and plopped it in with my plants. And I really like how that looks. I actually did purchase another as well. Um, it's in the, the bedroom with my plants there. So I'll take you in there to show you that. Now, if we swing around here to my Cebu Blue Pothos. This I'll consider thrifted as well because it came from a garage sale. My husband was actually on his way home from work and saw it. And he FaceTimed me to see if I would be interested. And of course I was. Um, so this one says here, it has a cord that hangs and there's a basket that can be suspended in the middle. But as you can see, I'm trying to train this to climb. I just thought it would look really pretty to have vines coming up into a heart shape. And so I took the, took it out of the basket and just sat it down here. And that sits right there, uh, between my desk and the TV. And I think that is really pretty. Um, before I go in the kitchen, let me just take a sweep around. I think that's everything in here that is thrifted, so I'm going to take you into the kitchen. Okay, before we go into the kitchen, these, one, two, three, these small pots here, 
They are terracotta pots. I've had them for a while. You can see they've started to get the mineral deposits on it from the water. Those were thrifted as well. I got those for, I think it was like 20 cents a piece or something like that. And I got those from Ambets. Okay, so this is my, I call my little counter jungle. This is in my kitchen. Just take a step back to show off my ponytail palm, which I love so much. And let's see. So this back here, which I'm going to move because I want to adjust some plants around. But anyhow, that's another video. This little like shanty looking little container actually came. Let me turn this way so you can see. It doesn't have much in it right now, but this actually came from Home Depot and I did get it for free. It had some dead succulents in it. It was up on the counter with a sign that said free. And so I took it. So I'm going to consider that thrifted as well. And then here you can see another one of those plates that I was telling you about. I use it, um, you know, just to add some interest here. And these pots don't have a catch underneath them. So I just set this under here to catch the water and then I put a couple propagations on there as well. And then lastly, I'm going to show you um, the thrifted items in my room. All right, very quickly back here on the counter, I wanted to show this white dish here. It actually came from Lowe's. I got it for a dollar because the plant that was inside, <clears throat> um, it looked like it was dead. I was actually able to bring it back. But um i got this for a dollar for that reason so if you go to different stores like lowe's or home depot don't be afraid to buy a plant that is too far gone if it has a nice container that you'll like and then back here in the corner there's that other one um that i showed you in the front room that teardrop terracotta one because as i said it was two of them and i want to say they were two for a dollar or something like that all right, so here we are in my room. This is the other statue wooden figure that came with the one I first showed you. This one was two fifty, um, which made them two fifty a piece. And yeah, I put it in here with my philodendron celum, which is has seen better days. But again, another video. Um, and then I'm gonna take you over here to the other side excuse my unmade bed and my daughter's baby doll on the floor <laughs> these two here that you see which are holding these plants up the curtains are closed now but this is a nice bright window these um are actually candle holders and so my husband's inhaler sits here because this is his nightstand um but he doesn't use it aside from like one item like this so I put plants here and anyhow these use I use to elevate the plants so they're closer to the light and I think they also look pretty as well with the little scroll detail and I think that's about it but I'm gonna take one more sweep through and bring you back into the front room all right so that is pretty much it for my um my thrifted accessories that I use for my plants if you're a person that goes thrifting or even if you're not it's definitely a good idea to just pop in and see what you find because you come across a lot of stuff a lot of times you can find a lot of pots um, and things that are actually brand new that people I mean I guess for some reason didn't end up using so that's always a good score also you can find a lot of vintage items as well which is really cool because it makes them one of a kind and it makes your plant space that much more special. So I would definitely suggest trying out thrifting for that purpose. And also any stores you go into, you'd be surprised now how many have um, planters and pots and accessories and things like that. So always check the clearance section to see what you find. And then also if you find, you know, ceramic containers or canisters or anything like that always keep in mind of i do that i could put a plant into it um, once you buy the little drill bit for um, a handheld drill you can put drainage holes in the bottom i just haven't gotten around to it yet so i keep my eye out for things that aren't necessarily traditionally meant for plants but that i know um 
that I can use that way. So that's always a good idea to keep in mind. So let me know if you go thrifting at all for your plants, what are some interesting things you found? And let me know in the comments down below, where is your favorite place to go and find really cool pots? Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. So as I was saying um, too, before I go, this is going to be like my little version of Vlogmas. So this will be Vlogmas day, was Vlogmas day two, but um, this will be my first video for that. Let me know if you have a plant channel and if you are, um, you know, going to be doing plant Vlogmas videos because I would love to see. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.